Hey pals, my name is Gracie and I'm the owner, artist, designer, every department of Grace Paper Collective. And I'm so excited to talk to you today about how to use Dipsado as a stationary designer and a fine artist. There's so many things in this platform y'all, I can't even begin. We will dive straight in. But first I want to give you guys a little bit of background about Grace Paper and what exactly it is that I do here in my sunny Austin, Texas home studio slash guest room. Um, Grace Paper Collective started originally in 2018 under a different name um, and it was originally a small business specializing in fine art, custom watercolor, uh, a lot of commissioned artwork and things like that. I really started out really with custom house portraits. That was really where it all began. Um, and those were such a fun and sentimental thing that I to this day still offer. But throughout the course of the last three and a half years, I have gotten to find my way more into the stationary side of things. Um, I went to LSU, go Tigers, uh, and I studied graphic design in college and I kind of, you know, knew what I wanted to do. And then as soon as I got out, uh, my love affair, affair with paper began. And ever since then, I've been doing everything from that custom art that started the whole shebang to custom uh, stationary, personal correspondence, small and large event stationary and paper, everything for weddings from save the dates through bar signage um, to anything you can kind of think of within that realm of things. And I also do and offer um, custom bespoke branding, which is such a fun thing that I'm starting to kind of rev back up again. So Jill of all trades, I guess you could say. Uh, and I can firmly stand here and tell you that I would A, not still be in business if it weren't for Dubsado, and B, I probably would have gone insane by now. So I'm really, really excited to talk to you today about what it is I love about this platform. Um, I guess you could consider me an OG. I have been on Dubsado almost since I started, so about three years now. And I, it still blows my mind, honestly, to this day that it cost what it does per year because if I could bulk all of the stress and things that it takes off of my shoulders, I think the 300 or $350 that it is nowadays, uh, probably better with this sale per year is absolutely worth every single penny. So I'm excited to talk to you today about what Dipsado does for me. Um, everything from lead capture forms to invoicing to proposals to everything all the way through when clients sign a production release and into when they're you know leaving me feedback and reviews after our time working together so i'm gonna go ahead and jump in we're gonna switch views here and you'll be able to see my screen in a second um but i can tell you now before you even get through the rest of the probably hour that this is going to be because i have nothing but words about how amazing this platform is uh just trust me it'll change the whole game so let's do it so first things first, I am going to walk you through each of my processes um, with how clients come into contact with my brand, how they inquire, what that process looks like, basically the whole shebang. So I have to give a huge shout out to my friend Stephanie at SAI Virtual Solutions. She actually has helped me do a lot of um, my workflow automating in Dipsado. So I want to give her a huge shout out if you're looking for somebody to help you kind of get it all the way that you want it. I had bits and pieces and I just wanted someone else to do part of that for me. Uh, you guys should check her out. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and walk you through my three different types of customers essentially. Um, and show you what it looks like for them to inquire all the way through the end of us working together. So I'm going to start with the biggest one first. Why probably most of you are here is how I use this as a stationary designer and a stationary wedding, wedding paper guru, as you may say. So first things first, I am going to head to my website. And of course, this is, you know, if I get DMs or I get messages, anything like that from potential clients asking for more information about this. This is always where I funnel them because I candidly cannot keep track of my text messages and it is just not a strong suit. So first things first, anytime I get that text from someone, I am directing them here. And the beautiful thing about that is all of my inquiry forms, no matter what anyone is inquiring about, are 
embedded in my site from Dubsado. So automatically my clients, potential clients are going to be brought into Dubsado whenever they're inquiring for custom work. So that is one of my favorite things. I, in terms of like keeping track of cold emails, keeping track of clients or potential clients who are reaching out to you via every single platform. This is a really helpful tool because you can basically just send them to the place where you know that they have to fill out the form, things like that. And you don't have to worry about them getting lost in the shuffle. So what I'm going to do is show you, um, these are my three main types of work. I have custom invitations, bespoke branding and commissioned art. So we're going to walk through custom invitations first because I really think that that is honestly the bulk of how I use Dubsado. So if you hit on custom invitations, I have two different types. We've got it for weddings and celebrations. So we're going to do a wedding suite. So this is where all my potential wedding clients get bumped to. And I'll direct send this link to people. This inquiry form that's embedded can or cannot be, I mean, it doesn't have to have a scheduler, but I'm going to show you why I love that about Dubsado. So essentially the first step for a potential couple who wants to book in with me for invitations is going to be to book an introductory call. So they're going to come here and they're going to click on this link and it's going to bring them to my scheduler. So this is a wonderful tool because this automates and integrates with my Google Calendar. So everything that is in my Google Calendar is going to be blocked off here, including any other meetings, time I block off to work on something. Any of those things are going to be blocked off. As you can see, I'm out of the office on Tuesday. And same thing for all of these meeting times. If I have a couple of hours blocked off, they're not going to show up to the client, potential client trying to book. So that is one thing that's so important. Um, I'll continue to talk amazing things about the scheduler as we move through kind of what this looks like. But um, off, out the gate, this is where they go first. They have to click on a time to schedule in with me. Um, say it's 5.30, they can, you know, submit and schedule, and then they must fill out this form to be able to get that on the books. This has been huge for me, I find, because with stationery, and if you're a stationer, you totally understand this, there are seven million and a half ways that you can go with paper from print processes to, uh, shoot, print processing, emb embellishments, wax seals, uh, 700 million types of ribbon four different kinds of paper, what size do you want, things like that. So this was really important for me on the front end because I found that it really eliminated a lot of back and forth out the gate with a client or potential client on all of these little nitty gritty things that I need to know before I can give them a really accurate initial quote. So this form is collecting the basic information, how'd you hear about me? Um, I love one of the best things about this is this lead capture form has a can space basically to have your potential clients tell you where they found you. This is wonderful for lead tracking. It's just a really great way to be able to keep tabs on if you're investing in marketing or you're investing in advertising, are those things actually paying off um, or are they not? Same thing, they can let you know if someone's referred them. I love to send little thank you notes. It's just a really great way to foster relationships with planners and past brides, things like that. Um, so I have a little bit about their story and how they met because I find um, whenever it comes to the design process, it's really exciting to be able to know those things because I can kind of have an overall gist of how to incorporate maybe some really sentimental aspects of their day into their suite. Um, the big day, so wedding date, ceremony venue, all kinds of things about guest count, number of invitations needed. Uh, this is about their vibe and style and kind of what it is that they like a place to pinch, paste their Pinterest board and this wonderful upload tool, which is one of my best things about this. No more back and forth with 700 attachments to emails that you lose. And then you're trying to find at the 11th hour, these are all uploaded and you can easily access them from the back end of Sada investment. This is just outlining what kind of uh, investment they can expect to see when it comes to these types of things. 
uh, paper and print types, all the stuff. I Mine is very long. I found that it is so much better for both me and all of my clients who I've worked with to be able to iron things the, these things out out the gate because it allows me to work up a really, really accurate initial quote. So all kinds of things that are so amazing, embellishments, things like that, and paper print options, save the dates, yada, yada. So they fill out this form and when they do, when they do and then they book as well their initial chat, it is automatically brought in uh, to my Dubsado as a lead. So we're gonna go to projects and wedding suites, which is a wonderful place to see where all of these potential clients are. Uh, you can set all these filters to whatever it is that you want. So it's really wonderful that you can keep all of your projects in different places, depending on what type of thing they're inquiring about, things like that. So we're gonna go into a general inquiry for wedding suites. And so this is the back end of things and you'll be able to see all your invoices, emails, forms, appointments, absolutely everything in the back end. And so essentially, this is where that form goes with all of, sorry, this one. This is where that form goes with all of those, that information. And so I can reference it there to be able to work up their proposal. So the great thing about these proposals with this, within Dubsado is that you can set up a lot of things as packages. You can set up things uh, and have them pre-selected. So throughout much trial and error about the whole quoting process, I have narrowed it down after three and a half years about how is the best way to do this. And it does require a little bit more work on the back end for me, but it is so worth it in terms of back and forth and really being able to show the client what it is that they are potentially investing in with visuals and all kinds of examples and things like that, which uh, especially if you work in an industry where verbiage or names of things, uh, especially stationary designers, may be unfamiliar to people who've never worked with paper, like letterpress, foil, things like that. Uh, this is a great way to be able to give them a visual and a cost of those things. So basically we are going to move into what that looks like so behold the almighty pci which is the abbreviation for proposal contract invoice i just refer to the overall thing as a proposal but it is a game changer y'all i mean to have one form that all encompasses what you're pitching they can make selections they can select quantities they can do whatever and then move directly into signing your contract and paying their retainer is amazing the fact that these all live in one place this is probably one of the biggest things that people would say that they love about dubsado so basically uh that inquiry after we have our initial call and i get to kind of hone in on the things that they selected that they were interested in so that I could be a little more specific about things that I may need to quote for, I work up their proposal. So it has a note about kind of how to read this and go through it. And then you'll see here, it has all the things that I'm offering. So this potential couple was looking at save the dates as well as invitations. Um, and I am showing them pricing all inclusive of all of my time and fees as well as actual product. So so that is what you'll see here. It's just a really great way for them to see and understand all of this. So the coolest thing about this is that when it comes to these packages, so as we continue to scroll, I will show them specific print and paper types and what this looks like in terms of investment, in terms of look and style. So they'll get to see what each of these things are. And then continuing on, if they've selected that they're interested in certain embellishments like these vellum wraps, envelope liners, belly bands, wax seals, you name it, you can give them a visual and an investment. So whenever you're building this form, actually, um, you can have the capability in the back end to do something really cool which is build each of these things as packages that are pre-selected. So this is the minimum it is to, it was to work with me for this particular couple's quantity, print types, um, 
I start out with quoting for just digital printing on flat cards, which is a really lovely print method, but then they can go ahead and obviously choose to add things on. So this is built as a package. It's pre-selected. So the coolest thing about that is that you can go ahead and basically select that for them. And then whenever they're viewing it, it's already selected. So as they move through this, they can make selections. It'll auto populate the cost at the bottom so they can see a running total. So this is my favorite thing about it because it's really hard for people, I think, to visualize investment and going back and forth on pricing, things like that. How many cards, how much is just a really great, this is a really great way for them to be able to do the math on their own without you having to go back and forth 4 million times on quoting. So I love this. It's one of my favorite things about the back end of Devsado and the things that you can do with it. So they make all their selections for whatever it is that they want to do, envelope liners, all these things, and they'll see a running total down at the bottom down here. So then they have the option to continue straight on to their contract and invoice or they can leave some questions about it, or I offer a quick quote consultation, which is just a five, 10 minute kind of refresher or clarification on any of these things if they'd rather get on the phone and talk about it. And then once that is signed, uh, sorry, once those are selected and they hit enter, everything is auto-populated into the contract and invoice. So their you know, mailing dates, all that kind of stuff, that's all defined by me in the back end prior to sending this to them. And then everything will be added into here, payment schedule here once, you know, certain things are added in. And then the best part is that they actually get their invoice and they can pay directly. You can see nothing's added to this because I didn't submit the form, but it'll auto populate into here and they'll be able to place their retainers um, directly within this invoice. So you can accept via pretty much any normal pro you know payment processor so there's stripe there's paypal there's all those options or you can require an ach transfer which is honestly one of my favorite things about this too because credit card fees as we know have gotten pretty absurd so you have the capability within dipsado to turn off credit card processing or paypal if you want to so that they are required to either pay via ach transfer a bank transfer within their secure bank app or they alternatively can, you know, send money via check or Venmo, something like that, that is a little bit more forgiving when it comes to processing fees. So that's another great thing that you can toggle on and off with Indivisado, which is a wonderful way to use the platform. So once all of that is done, we're only into the booking stage, I know, um, they will get, you know, say client, finishes proposal, signs the contract, pays the retainer, we're booked. The best thing about Devsado is that from that point on, literally everything can be automated. So everything from sending emails to triggering actions based off of when other things are happening. So I have a couple of different workflows that I'll walk you through here that, you know, depending on if this client is booking with or without save the dates, how long before their wedding date they're booking, which has been huge for me because that was a massive source of anxiety for a while as a business owner was kind of navigating in the wedding world when bookings can be made two to three years in advance, which is lovely and you want that because you have all the time to plan. Um, this kind of allowed me to narrow that down and set expectations for the client in terms of when they're going to start hearing from me to kick off the project. It's not going to be an automatic roll into it because then you can have a client who comes and needs work sooner and you've blocked off that space for a client who you could have, you know, been working with later down the line because you have so much time. So I have these in really specific workflows from with and without save the dates and extended or regular timelines. So this is just the Mecca, honestly. And this is what Stephanie at SAI really helped me to define an outline, but you could totally do it on your own. You do not need someone to help you do this. Uh, the Dubsado team is amazing. They are always on hand. You can click up this and talk to them or find an article that'll probably answer your question at all times of day and night. It's amazing. They're the best. 
shout out to the Dubsado team there on top of it always. So there's so many ways that you can do this and really be able to give a really seamless client experience. So with that, we'll move into what it looks like once a client books. So this is a very extended process. Sometimes working on wedding suites, especially if you're including save the dates, can be a six to 10 to 12 month process. So you can about imagine there's a lot of information in here. So what I'm gonna do for time's sake is just walk you through a suite uh, because the bits and pieces on the front end, if they have save the dates and on the back end, if they have day of details, are essentially abridged versions of this workflow. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you what that looks like. The best thing to know about Dubsado, I mean, I'm gonna say the best thing so many times. One of the greatest things is that they have canned emails. So canned emails are new, your new best friend. If you're in Gmail, if you're in, I think Outlook does it now, you know about this. It is a just way to be able to have really frequently sent emails kind of canned out and templated to be able to automatically send to a client or be at the ready so that you're not spending your whole day retyping an email you've sent 400 times. So that's the best thing about this. So obviously you can see I have a lot of canned emails and the coolest thing about Dubsado is that you can have, you know, uh, mapped fields, custom map fields that will auto populate with links, forms, names, dates, you name it. You can also create custom map fields. So I have them for things like a client's wedding date, uh, their production date, their mailing date, and that stuff auto populates into a lot of these. So it's a whole game changer in terms of being able to keep yourself scheduled and up to date with things like that, which is also something I'll touch on when we get through what the workflow looks like. But as you can see, I have a custom wedding suite welcome, and this is the coolest thing. It gives an introduction to the client's dashboard or portal, uh, which is a really great tool for them to be able to see everything in one place and just really ups the professionalism of working with you and, and your brand. So I think that that's also one of the best things about the platform. You get to send this email and it's got everything auto-populated. Um, tells them how to go into the portal slash, I call it my dashboard. It's officially called the portal in Dubsado, but I liked dashboard better. So I call it a dashboard, but it will essentially give them all the information they need to know to get in there, make their way around, update things like uh, additional people to be CC'd on emails, alternate contacts. If their fiance or wedding planner or mom wants in on everything, they can list them as an alternate contact and they're automatically CC'd on things, which is amazing. It's a wonderful tool um, to be able to keep people in the loop, especially if you're juggling planners and parents and all the things. So it's a wonderful thing. So they'll get a scheduler link within this, which is my first official step of working together once we're all booked in. And that of course is like the one you saw the last time. It is a scheduler for them to schedule what I call our initial coffee date, which is an hour design call that we get on via Zoom. And we get to basically walk through what they can expect from me and then go through via screen share all of the things like inspiration. We can look at their Pinterest board. We can, I can visually tell them things that they may not know what that looks like or how that goes. So it's a wonderful tool to be able to use. So they'll get this canned email and then we'll move into this entire workflow. You can do so much with this, y'all. This is, this is the crazy thing about it. So coffee date, that's that scheduler. It has a form linked in it that they'll fill out that will give me all the details on the nitty gritties that they need included in the invitation from details for the accommodation card to the way that they want things worded. You can literally, it's amazing. It's wonderful. So they will schedule that coffee date. The cool thing about this too, and for someone who is a true inherent creative, who does not always has not for sure always had a full handle on, you know, the time aspect of things, which is really hard as a creative in the first place to be able to kind of put yourself in a box when it comes to creation. So the ability to go ahead and have things triggered once they've, you know, scheduled that coffee date, if they haven't scheduled it in time, they have a booking window, it'll remind them. And then once they go ahead and make it, you 
it puts a coffee date prep on my calendar, which is one hour before the appointment time for me to sit down and refresh myself on their project, on their Pinterest board, on any inspiration that they've sent me so that I'm really, really prepared for that meeting. And then we'll have that hour consult. One of the best things about the scheduler you have the capability to toggle on video conferencing. So no more just sending Zoom links or forgetting to send Zoom links and then trying to get on a call and forgetting that they don't have the link. Uh, it's amazing. So this is my coffee date scheduler. I have specific times that are available for that. It blocks me off on my calendar is busy so no one else can go ahead and book in at that time for anything and the link will auto generate as soon as they've booked it and it will send them the confirmation like the link to access it in the confirmation email does it all y'all so that will get sent and after we have that one hour chat we will move into basically what i call design time uh, i have two phases of design the first is a lookbook phase where the client is gonna receive their lookbook as as a form just like this so uh, once we hop off that call this looks different for different people this particular client had we had worked together on save the dates already so their lookbook is a little bit more finalized i guess you could say because we had built out a lot of elements but uh for some other clients this is typically when they would receive sketches uh rough ideas design options things like that but it's essentially their own little pinterest board and this is so doable and easy in dubsado it's amazing they get aesthetic palette I find that this has just cut out so much time when it comes to working with clients because you're not going back and forth on trying to figure out what it is that they want. You, after that call, you have a pretty good idea and you can go ahead and put everything into a process like this. And they'll get the suite. These are mock-ups of the specific things, items. They get to look at everything, proofread stuff. Um, and then you can pitch them options. So these are three different assembly options that I sent through and they have choices there, everything down to it all. And then there was pricing decisions for the things that I pitched if they wanted to keep the way that it had originally been quoted or upgrade to specific things. That's all choose selectable. And this is actually a little bit of an older version. Now I have it to where they can select it automatically like a package in the that initial inquiry form proposal contract invoice and so yeah it really does it all and then the same thing essentially they are going to receive this updated or revised like i said for clients who don't have save the dates this looks a little rougher and then this would be more of what the initial proof stage which is following the lookbook looks like once things are designed and mocked up and set out for them to really be able to visualize um and then the best thing is that they then, once we've moved through the whole design process, we're ready for go time. Um, you have a production release, which is a actually a subcontract to your original contract with them. And this is a lifesaver, y'all. If you don't have a contract, A, if you don't have an initial contract, A, get yourself one. And if you do and you don't make your clients sign anything upon production, then really save yourself the time the energy, the money, the stress, and go ahead and find a way to implement this. Obviously, my recommendation would be to do it in Dosado because it does so much for you, but go ahead and have something like this. So this gives the client every single thing and they have to initial on every piece of something that it is spelled correctly, it looks how they want it to. Um, that way, in case anything goes amiss in printing or production, they've put their eyes on it they've explicitly been told to sign off on it and then you're covered if anything comes back amiss or wrong that wasn't your fault even if it's spelled wrong on here you can't know everything about how they want things spelled or names or things like that so this is just a great place to protect yourself legally when it comes to the type of investment that people are making in custom invitations these days. Everything down to designs, ribbon colors, stuff like that. They're signing off on it all, especially to inner and outer envelopes. Every single thing is mocked up as how it will be printed. So this is a great place for them to finalize and look over for one last time um, any types of you know address spreadsheets that they've given to you. And then they have an electronic proof disclaimer, which is also just really important if you're in anything that is translating from digital to print. You have a place to have someone 
sign off that they understand that a mock-up is a mock-up and this is digital and things are going to look different in person and they're going to go ahead and verify quantities paper types all of these things and they have the capabilities here of signing off on whether it looks great it's ready to go if there is a revision that needs a correction but they don't need a new proof that's one of the greatest things about this is that it is a great way to be able to have one of these and not be going back and forth a million times which was one of my biggest frustrations prior to being on the end of auto so they'll sign this is a legally binding contract and then if anything does go awry or miss as i mentioned in printing you're covered and that's what's important so that's really kind of a walkthrough of the different stages of what I have built out in this action step workflow, almighty holy grail of my processing all the way, you know, to, I have specific dates that I tell clients I'm going to have things, you know, you get uh, your initial lookbook 12 days after 12 business days after our first client call that coffee date that's an hour and then um, a specific amount of days after they've reviewed and approved and or submitted that there is a certain number of days before they're going to get initial proofs and things like that so the biggest thing here i think is just that you're setting up yourself and your clients for success in knowing what to expect from you when to expect it what they need to do, uh, sending confirmation emails for little things like when they submit a form just so that they know and are confident that you've received it, you understand it, things like that. So this is just a really great way to be able to use all of those things and put them into triggered actionable items that take away so much back end and time and emailing work for you. You will think, just go ahead and thank me later. It's amazing. So I will touch a little bit for what it looks like on the client side. Um, and that is this dashboard portal situation. So this is one of the first things that my clients receive from me when they book in literally in the welcome email is their link to this. And it is where everything throughout the process is going to live. If you have multiple things, projects with different clients, this is a great way too. they can toggle between projects. Um, but the best thing is that they can see every appointment scheduler, they can see every booked appointment and they can access it. They can, this is obviously a past client, so, um, you can't log in, but this is where they can come to get access to the zoom. This is where they can come to see their invoice, their contract, any amendments to the contracts, every document that has been sent to them, whether it's completed or not completed and e down to emails like i mentioned at the beginning the profile they can add an alternate contact that has you know this is where they'll get all of the all of the additional emails and things and it's just a really really great place for clients especially wedding suite clients especially especially wedding suite clients who are in everything from save the date through day of details because there are endless and boundless amounts of proofs and revisions and things like that, that this just gives it to them in one pretty organized place to where they can always go back to it via the welcome email that I sent or specifically on my website, which is totally doable for you as well. I have a client login where they will go ahead and, and enter their email and their password and they can access it that way. So it's just a really accessible, really great way for the clients to have a seamless client, client experience and never be out of the loop. So all the way down to all of those processes as well as into offboarding clients. So I gave a link to leave a review as well as a client experience survey at the end of my time working with couples and wedding planners, things like that. So there's specific triggers for once everything's in the mail, uh, you can have all of that sent. Boundless, endless opportunities, depending, no matter what your workflow is, no matter what your process is, it, you know, from onboarding to offboarding in between, it just really levels up the entire experience. It makes it seamless and branded and beautiful. And it's just completely changed the game. So that is kind of what the workflow will, my most in-depth workflow looks like in terms of working with wedding suite clients. And 
that's kind of the gist of what it looks like for me and what it looks like for them from a workflow perspective. But the one thing that I cannot let fly by before I move on to kind of just briefly touching on customer is that I really struggle with anxiety and ADHD. And sometimes it's really hard for me to stay on task. So honestly, if you asked me what it is that Dubsado has done for me more than anything at all, it's going to be the task board situation, which I'm going to bring you into right now. So within your tasks for, you know, in projects, I, this is another thing that my friend Stephanie helped me set up. I have a bi-month task board and this works like Trello. This works like uh, monday.com. This works like a lot of other really great tools for project tracking, uh, especially as a, a one man business. This just, the fact that it's all in one place is amazing. And so basically this is everything for a custom wedding suite client who books in, including save the dates month by month. And this is telling me what I need to do and how long it's going to take me. And essentially telling me, you know, it's putting a to-do list on my calendar. So as you can see here, this is just an example client um, that I can go into this task board and I can go into project boards and I am going to go ahead and apply the by months task board. So this is going to put that task board in this project. So once they've booked in, that's one of the things that gets put on my to-do list from my workflow is to remind me to do this. And I go ahead and apply this and then I'm going to go in and I can click each thing, set a due date. You can make it all day or you can have it at a start time. I know Dipsado is working on this. That is the one thing that you can't set a duration for this, but it's really easy. What I do is to set a start time. So, you know, I usually tend to emails from nine to 10. So if I'm working on something for six hours or however long it is, I'll start it at 10 a.m. And I can go ahead and save it. I'm going to do it to where I can see it. So I can save this. It's going to go ahead and auto populate in my calendar in Dubsado. And then it's also going to be on my Google calendar. And I will go ahead into next month and you'll see it auto populated here. Uh, whenever I add it, I usually, you know, edit the title of it to be prepare and send sketches for, you know, whatever the couple's last name is going to be so that I know whose project it is exactly I'm working on. But I know here that it's six hours so I can edit the event. And I can go ahead and make it from 10 a.m. to uh, 4 p.m., which is six hours, and save it. And then it's blocked off on that day so that whenever I get there next week or two weeks from now and I look at my week view, I can see every day what it is that I have to do. And it's just a really big help for people like me who uh, might not necessarily have ever been taught how to calendar or be your own boss. It's really been a huge, huge relief for me in terms of understanding my bookings, understanding my workflows, understanding if I have time to take on that new project or that new client or that thing that I really want to do, uh, especially when it comes to the custom art side of giving really accurate up to date lead times and how long it's going to take me to do something or how long I'm going to need to be able to complete a painting or a quote or anything like that. So that is honestly, of all the things, there are so many things that this platform does, but if you're somebody who struggles um, with anxiety or ADHD or anything that makes it really hard to keep on task and kind of have this ambiguous thought process view of your overall work week and putting yourself in a box, which can be kind of hard sometimes as creatives, as I mentioned, uh, this is just, a whole new world <laughs> um, because it's all on there. You can set really, really specific goals and tasks for yourself and go ahead and auto populate them so that even if you have somebody trying to book in six, 12, 18 months from now, you know, you can look at your weeks and all of the things that you have set out for that time frame and know whether or not you actually have time to take them on without ending up overworked or up all night. That's one of the best things that I love about Dubsado and how it has helped me tremendously kind of combat a lot of those things that I struggle with. So I love that about it. And that's really kind of the gist of how I use Dubsado as a platform with wedding suite clients, custom stationary things. Um, 
you know, as I mentioned, wedding suites are one of the more elaborate workflows that I have. So that's really the best part about it is that it, it enables me to really all encompassing do everything from inquiry, you know, lead capture to billing to setting up payment reminders to doing all of those things that are constant busy work that keep you from creating uh, and keep you from getting to do the side of the business that you really love to do that are just a wonderful reason to invest in this as a stationary designer. So I, as I mentioned, I could go on for hours. There's so many things I could say about it, but I hope that this has given you a really good view into kind of how I use it as a stationary designer. And essentially a lot of those things are the exact same way when it comes to custom art clients. Uh, you go ahead and inquire via my website, same thing. I send this to potential customers and if they're booking in for specific types of things, uh, it's just really helpful. These two types of custom art products that I offer are available within my shop, but Dipsado even goes a step further there in being able to integrate with different systems. So for pet portraits, I have people purchase them within my site and then via Zapier, which is another automation tool. You can connect Zipsado and whatever platform that you host your website on. For me, it's Wix. So if someone purchases this and goes ahead and checks out because of Zapier making the connection, uh, they'll actually automatically get brought into Zipsado and they will then be able to be made a, like a project or a client in the back end of Dosado without me having to do that manually, which has been a massive game changer for me in terms of keeping on top of bookings with custom art as well. So one thing that you can see with that is in my projects tab. Uh, that's one of these custom art, you know, they'll get brought in as a custom art lead. I don't have any of those at the moment that haven't already been quoted. So that's kind of one of the cool things there. And then uh, if you go into my workflows you can see how that works uh for those particular ones because for pet portraits they're gonna get brought in and they're gonna automatically get set an uploader for them to upload all their source photos and then the you know the process is pretty streamlined from there there's two steps in the custom art process for that the same thing for house portraits they get a sketch proof a certain amount of days after they've booked in and that can all be edited to fit the timeline in which you're able to complete that project and so they'll get a sketch proof that you can see in my forms which i have all kind of pulled out here but let me pull it so this is what that pet portrait sketch proof looks like they'll get a pencil sketch and kind of a disclaimer that it's obviously a lot more for me to gauge shadows and highlights and things like that. It's definitely not gonna, none of these pencil lines are gonna show up in the final proof. And so they, they're gonna sign off that it looks great. And then they'll get a final proof again. So this was a client who had a house portrait and a pet portrait uh, and bigger seller here too, in terms of like upselling, being able to continue to make more profit off of these two things. I then have options to add on correspondence cards that they can select, uh, anything from lifestyle products, tote bags, Christmas ornaments, you name it. There are so many ways that you can use this platform and really just be an all encompassing, you know, really streamlined experience for your clients, especially as an artist. I think that that can be very ambiguous and that can be very kind of loosey-goosey when it comes to especially custom art especially even you know abstract art and things like that it's just a wonderful place to be able to give your clients really streamlined very 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 straightforward and digestible i guess forms and prompts and things that you need to know when you need to know them and so I highly recommend it for both stationary designers and fine artists. There are so many things that it can do, especially in integration with other apps, but even without, there are so many ways that you can have it just continue to be very streamlined across your brand. And it's just one of the best ways to be able to put everything in one place, which I think is the biggest thing nowadays with so many different types and places and ways to organize yourself. This is just one of the best ways to do it. So there you have it. Absolutely everything you could wanna know about why you should be on Dosado if you aren't already and how to use it as a stationary designer and a fine artist. 
everything from lead captures to invoicing to payment reminders to proofs to invoices everything that you could want in one place everything from project management to client experience and just a really beautifully branded uh, place for all of your correspondence to live with your potential clients and really just to keep you on top of your things and to keep you understanding your workflows and understanding the processes that make you a business so that as you scale and you grow and you bring on maybe new team members or interns or whatever it is that you think would help you in the long run as you continue to be profitable, this is the place to do it. It would be so easy to be bring on new members, to be able to show them these workflows, to outline the process, to basically write their emails for them uh, and to really just be able to continue to retain your voice and your brand and your look and the whole nine uh, in one beautiful place. So if I haven't convinced you yet, I'm not sure what else to tell you, uh, but just know that this is investment that you will not regret and I owe my quite literal business still being up and running and my sanity to all that Dubsado has done for me over the last three years. So. Get on the sale and uh, I appreciate you taking the time to watch and learn more about my processes and all that Grace Paper Collective can do for you if you ever are in need of custom art or stationery. Um, it's one of my greatest joys to be able to create things that are either celebrating memories or making them or memorializing them for people uh, no matter where they are in life. So you know where to find me. I'm on Instagram at gracepaper.co, uh, www.gracepaper.co on the World Wide Web. And I hope that you found this informational and enjoyable and hopefully it answers all the questions that I wish I would have known before I had Dosado. So that's I think all I've got. Y'all have a great day.